Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to Life in the Race. Hope you all are doing well. We're going to be looking at another book today. Today we're going to be looking at the George Daniels Watchmaking book. This is essentially a really incredible textbook written by George Daniels in the 1980s that goes over really all the components that are needed by a person who is interested in getting into watchmaking. Um, there are some incredible sections in this book. Um, there's some nice pictures of the watches that he, he produced. I think the front cover is, a, is not a bad one either. But essentially, its uh, principal aim is in writing this book uh, was to um, inspire and encourage the art of watchmaking, especially in the new generation of watch enthusiasts. And so they've got sections about workshops and equipment, hand tools, jeweling, um, all kinds of stuff that really go into producing a watch. And so I think this is a nice reference book for someone who is looking to get into the technical side of, of watchmaking and hear what, from George Daniels' perspective on, on each of these sections. So without further ado, I will flip perspectives so you can take a look at this book. All right, so very excited to jump into this book. I think this is probably one of the uh, most significant books uh, written about watchmaking in you know the last 30 years. Um, George Daniels is obviously one of the um, one of the most well-known um, watchmakers, uh, independent watchmakers, and has um, a very significant place in sort of the history of of um, watchmaking and watch innovation. And so, this book was actually published 28 years ago. Um, it was published in uh, 1981. Um, but it was updated in 2011. This is the version that I have right here in front of you. Um, and it continues to inspire and encourage the art of watchmaking, especially among new generations of enthusiasts. As a supreme master of his art, George Daniels' advice is constantly sought by students and watch repairers. His understanding of the problems that can beset the, that can beset the would-be watchmaker essentially especially in the age of mass production and his expert knowledge of the history of watchmaking uh, being second to none. This book really is a, 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 a very interesting um, book when you sort of go through it um, because what, what this book really does is give you all the tools that you need to, um, to be a watchmaker essentially. Um, and so um, the author's principal aim in writing this book has been to inspire and encourage the art of watchmaking, especially among the new generations of, of enthusiasts. I think it's no secret that I think coming by watch um, people who are interested in studying watchmaking is I think slowly becoming smaller, um, and uh, I think this book is a is a really great inspiration to those um, those those individuals. So you have a really beautiful portrait of George Daniels here, um, and. Um, and uh, like I said, this was updated in 2011. So the book is um, s separated into a couple of different sections. Um, you've got a section, obviously you've got your acknowledgements, uh, your preface and, and etc. But then you have your workshop and equipment where it goes through the different types of equipments that you're gonna need, hand tools that are, that are needed and how they're used, finishing steel and brass, which is a way, it kind of describes the way in which that takes place. You've got turning, um, you've got uh, wheels and pinions, a section on wheels and pinions, a section on small, uh, making small components, jeweling, and then on the second page you've got escapement, which is a, a fairly large section. You've got your mainspring and accessories, movement design, the balance and spring, case making, engine turning and dials, and then you've got your bibliography and appendix. So you've really got a section for all of the different types of things that you're going to be doing as a watchmaker, which I think is really cool. It does get um, quite technical in some of these sections, which is obvious. Like it's needed if you're if you're going to be using this sort of as a textbook. But what I really appreciated about this is there was a combination of sort of a technical perspective, technical drawing of these, and also examples from uh, George, the watches that George Daniels produced himself. And so you can see some really beautiful pieces, and some really beautiful pictures here um, of the watches. Um, in, in all of its glory. Obviously George Daniels watches have a pretty um, a pretty obvious look to them. You can see it in these two pocket watches here as well as the way in which the um, the movements are finished. There's even some close-ups about different components in his watches. There's some beautiful details of the workshops and this is all just in the sort of beginning sort of uh, uh, preface of this, of this book. 
I'll skip a little bit ahead. This, there's no need for me to sort of keep going here, but you can see some really beautiful, again, some beautiful pictures here. I'll skip ahead a little bit because this is when we get into the first section, which is um, workshop and equipment. And what you'll notice is, um, you know, like I mentioned, I'll zoom in here a little bit for you so that you can see it, but it does get a little bit technical um, with some of the things that it describes, like the escape wheel. Um, and so I think this is a, a phenomenal um, example of um, a textbook that can be used by someone who's interested in watchmaking. Now, I think um, when I thought about, you know, when I got this book and I was sort of reading through it, I realized that from a technical perspective, I think this is maybe just a little bit too, too, um, too much for me. But what, I, what I've been doing is, you know, as I learn about something, um, about a specific watch, I actually go to this book to reference it and say, okay, so I heard about how um, a tourbillon is produced. Like there's an interesting tourbillon that was released. I'll go to this section where they talk about escapements and I'll actually go and read through um, some of the some of the literature that, that George Daniels has here to sort of further my knowledge. And I think that's the point of something like this is, um, if you're not going to be a watchmaker, there's no point in you reading this, uh, you know, front to cover unless you're going to be, um, you know, become become a watchmaker. But I think it's a really nice way to say, okay, let me let me read about how George Daniels would, would describe how this works, um, and and uh, that'll help me sort of explore watchmaking even more and get a deeper understanding about maybe a watch that I'm interested in buying or something like that. Um, so, uh, I'm making my way through it slowly, kind of through referencing it all, but you can see very technical um, information here about all of this. There's the coaxial statement that is described here as well, and um, many other different sections in here. Um, you even have a really nice, this is the section that I was talking about with the tourbillon mounted escapements for movement design, which is quite interesting to sort of compare movement design. Um, and um, yeah, very, very technical book, um, but, a, but a helpful one if you're interested in sort of exploring, um, exploring that. I think there is a level of, you know, some, some people will be interested in, in it, the technical aspects of, of um, watches. This definitely dives into the technical pieces. Um, and so I think it's a good sort of reference to have if you're if you're interested in, in, in watches and watchmaking and, and the engineering behind it. I know I, I sort of flipped through it, but I, I hope you enjoyed at least hearing my thoughts on it and seeing kind of different different sections of this book. Um, I'll put a link in our article if you're interested in, in checking this book out. Um, so um, if you're you know want to build up your library of watches of, of watch related books, this is a, a great one to, to include. With that said, I'll flip perspective so we can close out the video. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at Watchmaking by George Daniels. I think this is, as I kind of described, it's a, it's it's maybe not something that a watch enthusiast is going to read um, cover to cover. I think it's a good place to, it's a good book that is available when you want to reference something. Um, if you are interested in becoming a watchmaker, I think it's an incredible start. But if you are sort of just an enthusiast who wants to build a library of books that can be helpful, I think this is probably one of the best ones that you can get because it goes into the technical aspects of all kinds of things when it comes to watchmaking. And I've already used it to sort of uh, explore um, information about some of the watches that I'm, I'm interested in and, and I read about or I see on YouTube or whatever. So a really great book um, to, to add to your, to your library. Like I said, I'll leave a link in our article on our website. If you want to check out this book, um, I think there'll also be a link in the description of this video, so be sure to reference that if you'd like to. 
Um, if you are new to Life on the Wrist, be sure to follow to um, subscribe to the channel and share this with your friends who might be interested in watchmaking or watches in general. I, I, I'd love to have them uh, part of the Life on the Wrist family. Let me know in the comment section below if you've read this book, if you have it in your library, and if you found it useful. I think it really is a, 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 a great book to, to have. And if you wouldn't mind liking this video, it really does help me out. With that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and until next time.